Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are going to the moon. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be quite difficult, in fact. But we're going to go to the moon and we're going to grab some data. We're just going to orbit it. We're not going to land on the moon. So we're going to take the, the ship that I used to rescue those three um, Kerbinauts. And we had tons and tons of fuel left over. So I'm thinking we'll just be able to use that same design. So obviously it's the same design here that gets us up off the ground, gets us uh, gets us flying. Um, we got we start off with just those two rockets and the solid rocket boosters, and then we throttle back to get us up and going. And then we get rid of the solid rocket boosters and add the additional um, middle um, rocket. Then we lose. The two outside boosters and then we'll lose the main tanks and and main engine and fire off our smaller engine by this time we hopefully hopefully are heading for the moon then these two fuel tanks fuel that that fuel tank which fuels the rocket so when they're done we'll just kick those off and get rid of those and then we're not carrying them around and then when the middle fuel tank is done we'll be on our way back and then we can dump that off and we can land on board we have two Gukan containers a science junior a thermometer a pressure scan a let's try and centralize that a bit more actually yep got to be in parts to that so let's put that more central Put that more central and a thermometer. Also, ah, about where it is. That's then I've gone for a lander can to save a bit of weight and the main capsule. And then on top, we got a, a, a battery unit and then a proto dobodyne. Um, probably don't need that anymore, but it helps with the SAS. It's got reaction wheels as well, and then a small reaction wheel on top as well. And then we've got um, solar panels and then parachutes down the sides. Hopefully that will work. I am worried about stage six, which is the stage where we've got just the middle engine firing because that has only got 0.82. But hopefully these guys still have enough fuel in them to help. And then when they've run out, and we got rid of them and it is just the main engine we're actually on our way to the moon anyway by then certainly the last stages of of maintaining orbit so that's the plan um contract wise we've got a bunch of things to to do we've got orbit the moon we've got perform temperature scans at, at some locations which if we can we will visual surveys at some locations which again if we can we will um, and then there's a uh, plant a flag on the moon which is for the future a satellite around Kerbin which is the future in the future another satellite for Kerbin which is in the future and then science data from the moon uh, from around the moon so we should be able to do those um, so you've got the thingy to send back some data if we need to on board we have valentina and bob both no stars um, and orbiting the moon will get them a whole bunch of xp so it's going to be really really useful for them so let's see how we go we put sas on we just hit the q rotation there just to help us be a bit more stable throttle up and uh, Let's see how this goes. Off we go. Okay. Good progress so far.
this is getting thinner so we can throttle up soon I think go 76 77 78 that, that'll do 79 ish add maneuver node get that spinning around good enough for me Get that onto our marker there. Use the standard SAS now. So we are in space now. So, and I'm a bit worried about the power of that rocket. We are going to set that going fraction early all bit stretching out now still got a bit of gas left so that's good it's coming down Don't think the gas will last, so we will have to get ready to ditch this. Fire the next one. There we go. Less powerful engine this one, so. Possibly struggling now. We are losing a bit of altitude. Hopefully we can get that speed up in enough time before we dip back into the atmosphere. It's going to be really, really close. Come on, little rocket engine. It's not 
gonna work, I don't think. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Still stretching it out, but... Keep pushing. Apple Apps is going up again. We now have a periapsis. Make sure that apoapsis stays in the atmosphere. So, as you can probably tell, I kind of struggled pretty badly getting into orbit there. That was uh, not the most efficient way of getting into orbit, and I think my design may need a little bit of tweaking. That stage six was uh, not powerful enough to uh, maintain our orbit, and we were. Uh, in trouble when we got to the next stage because the, in, the power of that engine only just got us into a, a stable orbit. Probably used up a lot more fuel than, uh, than we'd like. So right now um, in a sped up time you can see that I'm adjusting some settings and um, uh, making a few uh, course correction changes, getting it set up right to be able to make a move uh, to the moon. Um, got uh, just getting the uh, inclination correct, and now I'm just working out how I can actually make, get an encounter with the moon. Where's the most efficient place to uh, to make that uh, intersection, and how far away we're going to be? So uh, as soon as I finished uh, getting that set up and checking, uh, I've got enough delta v for that. Then uh, I'll pass you back to real time. And I think we'll head off. It's good so far. It's coming down, so... Now, as that stretches out, it gets faster and faster. It takes a bit of time, it's not a very strong engine. Start throttling back any minute now. So we got an encounter. With a pretty good at the moment free return if we're worried about fuel. Let's see what that does 
wow, that's a complicated mix of uh, So that would give us, I'm just trying to work out what that means. Right, so we come along here. Let's get rid of that, makes it simpler. Right, so we come along here, gives us a periapsis of 33,000. We definitely shut off to zero here. Don't know why that's moving, why that's changing. Six, five, it's going down. Not losing any more fuel. No, we're good. How much delta V of fuel have we still got? We have got over a thousand. I think that's enough. I think. For an orbit, not for a landing. So, around we come. Uh, let's have a look when we get to here. It's all stabilised, but it's come down to 29.5 now. So that's good. Oh, well that, what can we do here? Oh, we can do a whole bunch of science, apparently. So let's have a look what we can do. We can do a crew report. Excellent. We can do a material study. Excellent. Lots and lots of science. A mystery goo. Lots of science. And Bob will do us an EVA report. Excellent. So, store experiments, take them, store them, and let's fire your rockets. Let's head for the capsule. Oh gosh, what's going on with the camera here? Let's change the camera view. Oh, camera spins around. Right, okay. That's better. Just getting used to the controls. Some people are very good at this. I'm not considered one of them. I want to thought. Right, okay. So I think Bob. Is it Bob? You can collect that data, you can remove it, and you can restore it. Brilliant. Let's not get too far away. Collect data. And restore it. I think not worth doing that. Log temperature, can't do that either. Right. Take data, store data. Where's the where's the entrance?
EVA report, which I think we got already. Board, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of, of uh, whole bunch of uh, reports and things there. We've got EVA report for twelve, um, which we could send back. Let's send that back because because we can. It doesn't cost anything. Make sure that that antenna works. Done. Tool study will keep that data. Um, Mystery goo will keep that data because we lose so much of it. Excellent. We're on our way. Pretty happy with that. So let's walk to there. And that's where we'll leave it. We'll um, catch up in the next episode. Our attempt to enter moon's orbit thanks for watching thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it then please consider giving me a like if you haven't already please subscribe to hear about when i do some more videos in the meantime do you, if you want to click on one of the other videos that i've done on uh, on a different game then uh, these are my latest ones please go ahead or if you click on the next video in this series that'll take you directly to the next video in this series if i've done it and uploaded it Thanks for watching.